April the 8th, 2024, and today I wanted to go over laying in the bed and sitting on the couch with ascites. Um, as you can tell, I'm in my bedroom right now, and uh, I'm going to go over today on how I figure out how to lay in the bed uh, having ascites. One of the hardest things about having ascites is just getting comfortable. Um, because you, you know, like I talked about, you know, you have all this fluid that's built up inside your belly and uh, it can make laying down rather difficult and <clears throat> one of the things is, is that when you have ascites, that's where you're going to be spending a lot of time is either laying in the bed or sitting in the couch. Um, there's just not a whole lot that you can do when you have ascites uh, because it does. It really uh, impacts your life um, in a really negative way. You know, the thing is, is that, you know, getting up and doing some exercise, what you can do does help uh, to remove the fluid. But with that said, getting up and doing stuff all the time, it's just not feasible. Um, I've had a size multiple times and uh, I know how difficult it can be. Um, and that's why I wanted to do this video today uh, because I know there are a lot of people that watch this channel who are suffering uh, from ascites and I wanted to show you um, how I lay in the bed or and I still actually lay in the bed this way because I found it to be so comfortable um, I got so used to laying like this um, it irritates my wife now because I kind of put a barrier in between the two of us but I got so used to laying in, in this manner that uh, I still do it to this day so I removed all my pillows from the bed and I've got them at the end and I'm going to show you how I set my uh, pillows up in a way that you can lay down in your bed um, and lay down. Um, one of the things about ascites is, is that you, can, you, you cannot lay on your side when you have ascites and I've always been a side sleeper and I found that when I had ascites that I had a really, really hard time getting sleep because I could not sleep on my side like I always did. So, I had to figure out a way to lay in the bed so that I could sleep on my back. Um, because when you try to lay on your side, um, it pulls all that fluid uh, over to the side. So what it ends up doing actually will pull on your back. Um, it'll pull on your back. It'll just pull on your whole body. Because like I said, you have all this weight in your belly area. So all this weight in your belly, and if you lay on your side, it's pulling like this. Well, it'll start to pull on your back right here and it'll kind of start to twist your spine up on you. It just makes, it, it makes laying down really, really difficult. So like I said, today I'm gonna to show you guys how I, how I laid in the bed and how I actually still lay in the bed a lot of times. Um, another thing that is really good for this too is because when you have ascites, um, you know, a lot of times we'll lay in the bed, we'll kind of put our arms like this, or maybe have our hands like this, or maybe like this, or however you're laying in the bed, or maybe you got your hands on top of the covers and you're just kind of laying like that with your hands just kind of maybe resting on your belly or whatever. But when you have that ascites, you know, your belly is you know, way out here. Um, it's hard to get your arms comfortable and get them in a position that you can lay. Uh, that's not gonna create pressure or create a lot of problems for you while you're trying to sleep. And another thing as well too, is that when you have ascites, it makes breathing really, really hard. Um, uh, like I said, you have all this fluid, it starts to push up into your cavity, in your stomach cavity, and then it gets up and starts actually putting pressure on your lungs, which makes it really, really difficult to breathe. Um, which laying in this position, which I'm gonna show you guys today, actually really improved my breathing. Made breathing so much easier for me, um, especially when you're trying to sleep at night. Um, you know, you really wanna be able to have uh, uh, the most comfortable way to lay, to lay, and you really wanna be able to breathe the best that you can. And I found that laying like this just really helps pull that, that fluid down towards your belly, like down this way, opposed to pushing it up. And that's one of the problems I was having, because if you lay flat in the bed, that fluid will tend to push up into here, because you know you have all this open space here, so it kind of like pushes up into your lungs. So you really want to try to keep that fluid down. And like I said, uh, it, laying in this position really helps keep the fluid down here, opposed to getting pushed up here, and making it difficult to breathe. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started on this today. And this really isn't that difficult, but I, I, I just wanted to show you guys, because I did, I tried so many different things. Um, I remember laying in the bed, I remember exactly what I was watching 
uh, the day that, that I, I remember just bursting out in tears because I just could not get comfortable. It was about 2 o'clock in the afternoon one day. Um, I was watching that movie with Tom Cruise, uh, the one from the 80s, um, where he was uh, doing, the, he slid into the room on his socks, and, um, you know, the one where he, uh, him and his friends, they threw a big party at his house when his parents went out of town. I can't remember the name of the movie, but that's the exact movie that I was watching that day. I remember it like it was yesterday. I was laying there trying to get comfortable. I could not get comfortable for anything, and I remember just bursting out in tears because I just couldn't figure out how to get comfortable. What I ended up doing is I asked my wife to pick me up a, a certain kind of pillow, and <clears throat> once she got me that pillow, everything changed for me, and I'm gonna show you guys what, what pillow that is. But the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna need a, like a back pillow, okay? So, I'm gonna take this one and please, don't laugh at me because our, our pillows don't all match here. Um, so you're going to need a pillow like this and you're going to want to lay that on your bed. Let me adjust this camera down just a little bit, just like this. Okay, so you're going to need a pillow just like this. And you want to have a position at about, I'd say like 30 degrees, somewhere around there. So you're going to lay your first pillow down like this. And this is the crucial part. It's one of these pillows right here. These pillows right here make it so much easier for you to be able to lay down in your bed because it has these little arm rest things. So I lay the pillow just like that, okay? So you need a pillow to support this pillow and then you're gonna lay this one about the same angle. So you're gonna lay it back just a little bit and then we're gonna make sure these are laying flat. When you get a brand new one, they're gonna wanna poke out like this a little bit more, but after time, after you kind of lay down with it, it'll start to work itself out and kind of lay a little bit more flat for you. Um, and the next thing you're gonna need are gonna be two more pillows. And actually, you're gonna need three more pillows. And this pillow right here is kind of like our decorative pillow that kind of sits on the outside, but I'm gonna use this one for uh, an example today. Now, what you're gonna want is, you're gonna need kind of, a, like I said, this is a little bit longer of a pillow, and you're gonna want the longer pillow to do this because of the way you're gonna do it. So you're gonna take one pillow and lay it like this, okay? So on this side of the arm, all right? And then you're gonna take your other pillow and lay it on the other arm like that, okay? So you've got a pillow here on this arm, a pillow here on this arm, and then one more pillow. And we're gonna take that one and we're gonna lay it right here. And this one's gonna be for your head, okay? So we've got a back brace pillow. Then we have this other pillow that lays down. When you have these arms, this keeps the pillows up. And I'll show you why I'm here in just a second when I actually lay down in the bed to show you how this works. But the, you're gonna need these because it holds these pillows into place. You probably could do this with a, just a regular pillow, but I, I've tried that and I found this to be the best method with one of these right here. And you kinda wanna get these, maybe like, a, it, it's gonna depend on your body size, but about a foot in between. And you really wanna keep them as close together as possible. And like I said, I'll show you why in just a second. And then another thing that you're gonna want is one more pillow. And the last pillow you're gonna wanna position on your bed like this right here. And this pillow right here is gonna be for you to put your legs underneath of it when the time comes, if you need to do so. But like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. So when you get, go to lay in your bed, and you've got this set up just like this, this gives you the opportunity to be able to lay down and you've got a place for both of your arms to sit and it gives you an, a chance to just be able to sit up and you can maybe put another pillow back here. Oftentimes I'll take the pillow and fold it in half and that way I can just kind of lay in the bed like this. But I'm telling you, this really keeps that fluid pushed down and it gives you a place to put your arms um, you know, and adjust accordingly, because right now this isn't like the same height, so maybe I would put like another pillow over underneath this one. It's almost like sitting in a recliner chair, but it gives you an opportunity to lay in your bed like this, 
and it really keeps that fluid down here opposed to pushing up. It elevates your body just up enough to keep the fluid down and it gives you somewhere to put your arms because you can't rest your arms on your stomach. And if you do, because any pressure that you push on your stomach when you have ascites is just, it's, it's really painful. So you want to be able to have somewhere to be able to put your arms at while you're laying down so that you're not having to worry about placing them on your stomach or, you know, because a lot of times, like if you're laying in the bed, you might cross your arms or kind of lay like this. You need to be able to have the space because your belly is going to have so much fluid in it. You need somewhere to rest your arms. And I'm telling you that setting my bed up like this saved my life. And then on top of it, <clears throat> if you start getting uncomfortable, you can take your other pillow, put it up underneath your legs. And I found this really helped me out a lot. Um, to be able to put your legs up underneath your pillow and it really just kind of cradles you and let your you get some elevation on your legs and there have actually been times i've placed other pillows because i've had so much edema in my legs i needed to elevate them a little bit so putting other pillows up underneath the here and that helps the the legs be elevated and then it helps your body be elevated and then you're releasing that pressure off of your um off your belly but like I said, this is the best way that I've found to be able to lay in the bed with ascites. And um, I'm also going to go and I'm going to show you how I um, sat on a couch, which is very similar to this setup. Pretty much the same exact setup, um, but sitting on a couch. And I'll show you how to do that next. Alright guys, and now I'm going to show you how to uh, set up your couch. Um, so you can sit on the couch if, if you're trying to watch TV or whatever with the ascites. Um, <clears throat> pretty much the same setup as how you would do it in your bed. Um, but uh, we're going to do it today on the couch. Now the one thing that I will uh, uh, highly recommend that you're going to need is either an alderman um, or a chair or something that is the same height as your couch. Okay, you're gonna need to be able to get your legs propped up. Um, now, if you have a uh, chair like this, now that's perfect. And I actually, uh, uh, my mother-in-law bought me that leather chair right there um, during uh, the period that I had ascites because um, she came over one day and saw what, how I was setting up my couch uh, in order to get comfortable. Um, and she, you know, she saw that all these pillows that I had all set up all over the place. And this is down here. I lived down here um, basically for a couple months. Um, there is a uh, another bedroom right across right over here with a bed in it. And um, I would lay in that bed or I would come in here and spend a lot of days sitting on this couch until I just couldn't handle it anymore. Then I would go lay back down. But I, I really didn't want to lay in the bed that much. I, I really tried to get up and at least sit on the couch. Um, but, you know, once again, uh, you have all that fluid that's pulling on you. And, um, you know, laying down flat uh, is, is it's almost impossible because, like I said, it pushes that fluid up into your lungs. Um, so I tried to make myself as comfortable as possible. And, like I said, my mom in law got me that chair. Um, so I stopped setting myself up on the couch like this. But, for any of you guys who don't have a chair like that, um, and I did it for months without it. I mean, the Asadi started to go away when she actually got me that. But for you guys that don't have a reclining chair like that, because that chair does recline, uh, it actually lays all the way back. And uh, another reason they had got me that chair as well is because it actually lifts up. Um, I was having a hard time getting up out of the chair. Uh, so, well, I just turned on the, uh, this actually has massage and all that kind of stuff too on it, but the chair actually lifts up like this, um, and it helped me be able to get up out of the chair because I was having a really hard time getting up out, and this chair actually lifts all the way out. I would, if you're dealing with this, one of these chairs is wonderful to have, um, you know, if you can't afford one or whatever, I totally understand. They're not cheap. Uh, I couldn't afford to get one myself. You know, like I said, it was a gift given to me. Um, so I'm really blessed to be able to have one of those. But I, I didn't have one for a very long period of time. Um, so what I'm going to show you right now is how I ended up sitting on the couch for a long period of time. Now what I ended up doing was, uh, since this couch has this little arm on it, this is where I would set up at to sit. And uh, what I ended up doing 
is basically the same thing. Uh, put a pillow on the back. I put a pillow just like this. Okay. And then, actually, I don't need that pillow on the back on this couch. So I would set this up just like that. And then I have this little armrest right here. So I would have one pillow right there. And you need this to be, like I said, at about a 30 degree angle so that you can lean back enough. And then I took my other pillow, just like this right here, set up like that. And then I took another pillow, set it up on the back. And then I took the alderman and brought this up. And that way I could get my feet up like this and I could sit. And it gave me somewhere to put my arms. And then I would take like another pillow and set it like this until I got myself comfortable and I could lean back just far enough and I could sit on the couch like this and it would relieve that pressure off of my belly. And it gave me just the right position to where I could sit and relax. Now, I will say that sitting like this is so comfortable. Uh, you might find yourself doing the same thing like I do and doing this every single day. Um, but anyway, guys, I just wanted to go over this really quick for you guys. For any of you guys who are dealing with ascites, um, you know, if you have a loved one that's dealing with ascites, um, I'm telling you, this is the best way that I found to be able to lay down and be able to sit down on the couch. Um, it is, it helped me drastically. Uh, there were days, like I said, that I uh, lay there and just cried because I could not get comfortable because having ascites is by far one of the most uncomfortable parts and one of the worst parts, and I've said this multiple times, about having with a disease. Uh, the ascites is horrible. Um, not only does it make just laying down uncomfortable, but getting up and walking around, doing any kind of activity can be e extremely difficult because you have so much fluid in your belly, all that added weight. I mean, water is eight pounds a gallon. Um, so, you know, if you've got two gallons of water in your belly, uh, you know, you're talking about 16 pounds of extra fluid that's just pulling on your back. Uh, it really starts to hurt your lower back pretty bad. Um, it just makes life difficult. So I hope you guys, uh, that any of you all that are dealing with this, um, you know, I, I'm praying for you. I, and I'm so sorry that you are, but I hope that this video helps you out. Um, if you have a loved one that's dealing with this, try setting them up like this, especially in the bed. Um, I think that you're going to find that really, really does help. It's going to help improve their life greatly um, until they can get that fluid off their belly because with the ascites, I will say, getting the fluid off, you can do it. Um, it takes time, you have to be diligent, and you have to have some patience, but you can get the fluid off of your stomach. Um, you know, speak with your doctor, but there are things like uh, the Lasix, um, the Spirulacrolone, um, you know, the diuretics, uh, making sure that you're consuming enough protein every single day, um, and getting up and trying to do whatever kind of exercise you can. And then last but not least, well, the other two things that are very important as well is not exceeding the 1,000 milligrams of sodium daily and not exceeding two liters of fluid every single day. Because if you keep putting more fluid into your body, if, you, if you're overdoing the fluid, well, your body can only expel but so much at once. I know it's not fun. I know you're going to be thirsty. But at the end of the day, you have to think about it like this. Let's get the fluid off. And then you can kind of go back to drinking a little bit more. Um, but, you know, getting that fluid off is really important. It's going to really improve your life. It's going to be able to get, let you, uh, allow you to be able to get up and do more things, to be more physically active, which is going to help to get the rest of the ascites off after you've done that. Um, and it's just going to improve your life. You're going to be able to do a heck of a lot more stuff. Uh, you're going to be able to go on walks. You're going to be able to just enjoy your life. Um, for the time being because you know there's nothing worse than you know knowing that you have liver disease one um and, and then two you can't actually just live your life and you know what, what time that we do have left we want to enjoy it and uh you know getting that fluid off and just being able to be comfortable is so important and that's why i wanted to make this video today to try to help uh show you guys how i did it and, and, and try to make either your life or one of your loved one's life as comfortable as possible um, so that they can enjoy it the most that they can. So with that said guys, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off of here for today um, We do have the eclipse coming up today and I plan on filming that I'm probably gonna put that in tomorrow's video I think we're supposed to get like an 80% eclipse today 
Uh, so be on the lookout for that in tomorrow's video. I'll just make that a part of tomorrow's segment for you guys that, that aren't able to see it. Um, but with that said, that's it for today. I hope you guys had a great day. Thank you so much for watching the video that we did yesterday with my wife. Um, got a lot of really good questions yesterday. I was really surprised at some of the questions and uh, my wife was too. She was just blown away by some of the questions were just really good. Um, like for instance, one of the questions was, did I have an odor uh, with me when, um, you know, with the liver disease, um, which is funny, my wife said, not with the liver disease, but every time that I got pancreatitis that I had a smell. She said that she's never said that to me. And without you guys, uh, you know, asking these questions, if we didn't do these videos and get these conversations started, um, we wouldn't get these questions to get these answers. And it's one of those things that I never even knew. My wife didn't even think about it until that question got asked yesterday. And she was reading it and she goes, you know, that's funny that they asked that because you had a smell when you had pancreatitis and I've never said that to you before. So these are things that help start these, initiate these conversations and, you know, these little things that you just wouldn't think about. Uh, we're getting more, uh, you know, more awareness on the subject, not just that, but, you know, we're getting more education. It's these little teeny tidbits or things that, uh, you know, might help somebody one day. You know, they might pick up on that strange smell and go, it's time for you to go to the doctor because I saw this in a video, that, you know, that this, this happens. And that's why we're doing this. So, um, once again, thank you so much, guys. I hope you all enjoy your day today. And until tomorrow, I will see you all then. Bye.